the third, top of the stretch. Here they come. There they go, they're off and pacing, leaving at the rail, big kisser, San Diego style between horses, at the rail, Burt's Bandit, third into the turn, dropping in fourth, Dylan's Mustang, Rosewood, away fifth, then six is instant fortune, off stride, on the turn, San Diego style, the heavy, heavy favorite, jumped it off. Going to the quarter now, led by Big Kisser and Paul Langell. Second is Burke's Bandit, racing from third. That's Dylan's Mustang. Rosewood is fourth. Instant Fortune has fifth. Then in sixth, Fan Regal trailing the field. San Diego style, 30. And two fifths, a comfortable opening quarter. Big Kisser on the front end, arriving at the 3-H pole. Second is Burke's Bandit, Dylan's Mustang third. San Diego style trying to get back into it. He's coming fourth. Racing from fifth and the outside is Instant Fortune. Then in sixth, Rosewood. And the trailer, that is Fan Regal. They're at the midway point. Big Kisser, the leader. San Diego style recovered to challenge. 101 and for the half. Third up the rail, Burke's Bandit racing fourth. Dylan's Mustang, Rosewood has fifth. Then in sixth, that is Pan Regal trailing on the outside. Instant fortune. Three quarters coming next. Big Kisser, the leader. San Diego style on the outside. Burke's Bandit on the rail third. Fourth on the outside, Dylan's Mustang. Three quarters of a mile. 130 and one. 28 and change in a third. Down to an eight left to go. On the front end, Big Kisser the leader. San Diego style second. Burke's Bandit at the rail third. Dylan's Mustang in the outside fourth. To the wire they come. Burke's Bandit coming up. The passing lane to win it for Corey McPherson. Second, that goes to Big Kisser. Might have been Rosewood third. One. 59 and three. Well, we talked about the uh, pre-race favorite there, and, uh, you know, give some credit here. San Diego Style did make that break. That's a bit of a speed break, maybe, coming off the gate there like that, Bo, but came back into it here. It's going to fade through the stretch. Here's the horse you got to keep your eye on, Burke's Bandit coming up the inside there, the passing lanes, we call that in the sport, for Corey McPherson, and uh, they team up again for another check for charity, too. Yes, well, Langel comes into this one from Truro, goes to front. We see the favorite make the break. He gets that second quarter breather, and Santiago style pushes Big Kisser up the backstretch in that big third quarter. And Corey McPherson and Burks Bandit, they're just licking their chops in the two-hole ride, and they're able to slip up the passing lane. It's back-to-back -back victories, and Corey McPherson's going to tie up Mark Campbell. We got another storyline this season. All right, a couple of notes here just before we uh, greet the winners here. Uh, first of all, Corey McPherson teaming up with Red Shores. Red Shores teaming up with Corey McPherson. We're raising money for the PEI Sports Hall of Fame. So that's where that check's going to go to tonight. Mentioned a little earlier about the 50-50 draw. Gail is here in the top of the park now for the PEI Standard Bird Horse Owned Association. That money was not claimed earlier, okay? So the money that was out a little earlier um, prior to start of race two was not claimed so it's being tacked on to tonight i think it was around 270 bucks somewhere around there anyway so you can get your ticket on the 50 50 here tonight in charlottetown
Berks Bandit returning from the third. Bay Pacing call three by Santana Blue Chip from the Arch Place Jam, Twilight Lady. Owned by Perry Berg of Gross Isle, Quebec. Trained by Trevor Hicken. Driven to victory by Corey McPherson. Winning in 159. Three fives. Birch Bandit in the third. <laughs> 